Hi, this is the weekly horoscope for Leo for the week of November 20th, 2023. Hello, my Care Bears. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing, and like this video. Help it grow so it can be seen and I can help others. I will be doing the daily horoscopes tonight, so t stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. So on November 20th, a neighbor or relative may introduce you to a new potential romance. Love at first sight may happen in school or while you're running errands. Mars is not well aspected this week, so careful with this energy. You can be clumsy and accident prone. Be careful with road rage or car troubles. Um, you may have trouble with your car or suffer more inconvenience in doing errands around than usual. Transportation and communication can be difficult or even non-existent. Careful while driving or catching up. Your environment may be filled with more excitement than usual, um, which makes it harder to predict. Relationships with siblings may be on again, off again. Watch your tongue. You may get into explosive arguments and behave rashly without thinking through the consequences of your actions. You need to be careful with how much you do for others or you can have lessons with your giving energy or getting invested in other people's sob stories. So careful with getting scammed, getting fished out of your money. You may not be getting along with certain relatives or you may not be on speaking terms with siblings. On the 21st, Pallas moves into Scorpio in the second house. So scare careful with your spending. You may not know where all your money went because we still have Mars in the second house forming that stellum till the 24th. Um, for some of you, either creative ways, you'll find creative ways to make money with Pallas in your second house. You can be coming up with money making ideas at this time, finding creative ways to save or handle your money or to be resourceful. I feel like with whatever you know, the financial current in your area, I feel like you tend to adapt with this energy or have plans or strategize. For some of you, you could be getting another source of income. Um, you could be turning a hobby into a money-making idea. This is a good time for creative ideas. Um, for some of you here, you could be doubting yourself at this time. You could be very likely going to flip-flop. So all this energy with Palace and coming up with money-making ideas, you may not do it. You may actually do it during the Mercury retrograde because for some reason, Libras and Cancers seem to like to start business endeavors during Mercury retrograde. But I feel like, you know, it's just going to be like a seasonal project and then you'll stop doing it or something that you just do because you feel like you should do it at that time during the Mercury retrograde and then you'll stop doing it. So it's a temporary situation or this could be getting a seasonal job during that time. On the 22nd at 9.02 a.m., the sun enters Sagittarius. You may have a tendency to overdo it when it comes to socializing and enjoy yourself. Others may find your behavior mildly offensive because you take things way too far. Moderation is key here. There may be a lack of balance and harmony in your relationships with siblings, neighbors, and relatives. This is not harsh but subtle where circum social circumstances are mildly uncomfortable. A wall may be going up with your relationship, siblings, relatives, neighbors. Um, isolation or the need to travel for business, it can be inconvenient. Communications with neighbors and relatives become much more important and serious. Um, your communications and mental focus is sharp, not the, the easiest time for dealing with dominating people in your life. I feel also because the planets in retrograde in your 10th house, um, you have a stellum in your 10th house with Vesta, I think Vesta, let me see, Palace, um, not Palace, Vesta, I got to think about it. All right, hold on. Hold on. I'm looking up at my astrology thing. Um, with... All right, Asteria is in retrograde. It's a secondary planet for the goddess of justice, so balance. Um, Hades, Coronas. With these planets in retrograde at this time, it could be very hard for growth with career or any kind of advancement. You could find yourself very sensitive at this time to constructive criticism that anybody gives you or things that other people say to you. You may take it way too personally at this time with this energy. Those of you in school, you may find that your popularity is not the best with this energy and you may not be getting along with other people um, during this time period as well or getting credit for your ideas and other people stealing your ideas. Then on the 23rd, 
triggered, you have relatives or in-laws that overstay their welcome or become too dependent on you, the neighborhood you live in can become seedy, new neighbors might be drug users, you can be a psychic sponge at this time and feel other people's energy. So be discerning, you know, check in with yourself and be discerning about like what is your energy and then what is everybody else's energy like how do you feel like right now i feel very spiritual kind of annoyed because my son knows to be quiet you know but at the same time you know i did my anna bakoa i did my shema israel so i feel like you know i feel like very connected to source energy very calm very grounded at this time with these energies you know but then as i go out you know after this i'm gonna go do my prayer session at 2.30, which I do for the Kabbalah Center. I love it. And then after that, I'm going to go work out. So it's like, you know, but as I go through my day, you know, I check in with myself because I realize that, you know, I do get premonitions. I do get like, like a little movie in my head sometimes. Sometimes I get like audio, like people talking to me, you know, but it's like, it's like when I do that, I have to be discerning because sometimes some things are not mine, you know, and especially when I'm around men, especially men around here seem to be like a little bit like, damn, you got issues, bitch, you got issues, you know, and it's like, but I know that it's not my energy. So be discerning and you don't have to intrigue every thought in your head because not every thought in your head is actually yours. Okay. You may prefer to work behind the scenes or in cooperation with a group. You tend to seek a a secret agenda you have a hidden motive to why you are collaborating with certain people in your life or why you are choosing specific companies to work for so this could be learning from them to take and you two have the same business learning from them taking what you know you know from them and then making it your own others may see you what they others may see what they want to see and project onto you um, some people are going to take advantage of your generosity. Relationships are codependent and lack proper boundaries, or there's an invasion of personal space. In financial dealings, you're not likely to get what you pay for unless you're extremely vigilant about scrutinizing the value of your purchases. Swindlers may be more commonplace. This is a favorable, favorable for learning and education. Everyday events now seem to have a deeper meaning with this energy. Then on the 24th, 5 15 a.m mars enters sagittarius in your third house your body language can be very confusing to other people you could be pissed off and giving people the silent treatment or you know you could be upset and other people may know that you're upset but they're not going to do anything about it or say anything to you so something think about relatives or siblings may have hidden agenda others are likely to misunderstand your actions or intentions which could be a source of embarrassment or lead them to opposing your efforts without your understanding the cause Physically, you're more prone to infections and diseases than usual. You may be prone to scatter your energies instead of concentrating them effectively. So you could be having anxiety on this day. You may have trouble with your car or suffer more inconvenience running errands. Transportation and communications um, tend to be difficult or non-existent. It's also best to avoid confrontation with those of authority, the popo or military. This is a time when you might be on a power trip or someone's on a power trip. Your personality and popularity increases. Others will tend to lean on you for emotional support or confide in you. Watch for a tendency for overindulgence. You may lack self-discipline more than usual. A marriage may be temporarily dysfunctional or neither of you is being supportive of the other. You can be butting heads at this time. Um, there could be an increase of responsibilities or you are having to work harder now more than usual for the things that you want. All right. So the first card I come up with is the five of coins. Have faith that everything is going to work itself out at this time with this energy here. Delve into faith consciousness this week with this energy the nine of wands i feel like you could be doubting the energy and worrying about things that are out of your control this week as well the knight of swords i feel like this can be busy week for you and you can be more out and about than usual with this energy the seven of wands certain things in your life can be a little bit of a process or you're not 
getting the things that you want at this time with this energy here so this could be slow moving energy happening for some of you alrighty um, the page of cups I feel for some of you here you could be getting future messages about certain things that you want to that you want it at this time for some of you this could be scared of love at this time with this energy so love may not be happening right away so it could be happening more in the future for you as well or you could be a little bit lonely at this time so have faith that everything is going to work itself out okay um, some of you you could be dating but also at the same time you need to calm down okay because it's a situation here where you're overthinking the situation you're making mountains out of molehills maybe this person is a busy person and you expect this person to kind of be like um smothering you or something i don't know but you're just like um you're very paranoid about this person okay so you kind of need to calm down you know and kind of go with the flow you guys are dating it's like brand new relationship and potential relationship not even a brand new a potential relationship and you're taking it way too seriously so calm down go with the flow and date and have fun and be in the moment the queen of swords there is a reconciliation here with this energy for some of you you could be doubting the energies maybe you're psychically connected to this person and you're feeling like this person's going to come back into your life but then you go to flip flop with this energy and i feel like it could be like several months or whenever you let go of this energy that this person is going to come back because sometimes when we let go of energies the people that we want to come back or the things that we want to happen just come in naturally so you need to stop focusing on the things that you can't control and go more with the flow i do see um somebody that you have a crush on is coming into your life but slowly but surely so this could be like a year from now this could take a long while okay because they're not really interested in a relationship at this time or they're not really interested in pursuing one during this time period so this could be like the summer of next year when um, people are going to be more um, attempt to do it okay. coming in for you with this energy here I feel be careful with your giving nature because you're not going to see that money back as well with this energy the Knight of Wands, a lot of knights here at this time. So other people around you may not be taking things as seriously as you do with this energy. You could be a stickler for the rules and other people are not as um, willing to work or they're just, you know, they just want to be about them right now. They don't want to be, they're not taking their job seriously. I do feel like for some of you here that this is a creative time for you. You could be starting a new creative endeavor with this energy here as well. The um, Five of Swords, for some of you here, you may not be getting along with other people this week. Stay out of the gossip at this time with this energy here. I feel like for some of you, you could be intimidated by certain people in your life or other people in your life could be just bullies and being intimidating um, them. They could be just intimidating you at this time okay so you may have a hard time approaching certain people or you don't know how to feel about certain people in your life alrighty the lovers card um, contracts and negotiations alliances love is not happening anytime soon so this is gonna be um, oh okay for some of you okay so some of you there is a new love coming in but I feel like it's temporary okay so don't be taking it seriously all right the one that you're doubting the one that you're feeling like you know this person's not consistent this person's kind of flaky yeah i would just not take him seriously because i feel like this is a temporary love and it's not the real thing yet okay the real thing is not coming in anytime soon i feel like this person is still playing the field and not wanting anything seriously you will reconnect with this person but not anytime soon okay and you know who this person is the seven of cups i see thoughts of future 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 coming up for you with this energy this is a great time for social networking for you as well in dealing with collaborations with this energy the um high priestess card you do have a psychic connection with this person as well for others of you whatever good is coming into your life keep it secret don't tell other people your good energy because they're just going to poo poo on your parade or they're going to be jealous about what it is that you're doing at this time so it's just best to keep things to yourself the king of cups you have a crush on this person okay and this person could possibly have a crush on you as well but i feel like this person could be also emotionally unavailable this person could be dating other people this person tells you to call them to text message them on or call them on the whatsapp 
that kind of thing because they're already in a relationship alrighty the um, magician card as above so below you are manifesting your soulmate into your life with this energy and you'll know when they come in because you'll have a psychic connection with them the three of wands I feel with this energy here this is a time of moving forward and not a time of looking back okay I feel you also you could be very creative at this time in coming up with money making ideas doesn't mean that you'll use them but uh, like I said, I feel like during the Mercury retrograde is when that you guys will use them till January 1st when Mercury goes direct. Okay, so the month of January, you could be using it and then you'll move on to something else. All right. Um, I also feel with this energy here that this could be like a great time for like, again, alliances is coming up, social networking and making new friends with this energy, okay? The Seven of Swords, you are more quiet and to yourself at this time and kind of keeping to yourself with this energy and being more of an observer and not really divulging a lot about yourself at this time. For some of you here, you don't know how to react towards certain people because certain people around you could be a little bit crude and just kind of like, you know, not like, friendship material or you're just kind of like you know they may not be your type but you like the way they look and stuff like that you're attracted to them but also like this could be like your total opposite you know but you know it's up to you what you want to do with that energy um there could be changes in your career or changes in staffing could be happening so people could get fired and hired or rehired at this time so you could be working and connecting with people that you have already worked with in the past I do feel like somebody is going to criticize you so haters are gonna hate so let your haters be your motivators don't really listen to them just continue doing you because I know that you you guys take that stuff like really seriously and personally don't it's not worth it okay I do feel like this is a great time for celebrations and stuff like that I do see high school sweethearts here with this energy i do see you spending time with that one friend okay and spending time with someone that sees you as amazing doesn't have to be a lover it could be a friend for others of you you're dealing with philanthropy and dealing with funding at this time or this could be your job and it could be like a funded job with this energy here so you guys could be having parties for that trying to support your job with this energy the queen of cups reconnecting with people from your past with this energy, be careful of manipulating manipulative people as well. For some of you, I feel like you're going to start dating and I feel like the way you went about it, um, you have lessons with dating. So you're going to go about things differently this time. You can be delving more into self-care and self-help with this energy here and kind of using this time period to work on yourself and more on you with this energy also a time of contemplation strategizing planning and thinking about the future for others of you you are unable to let go of certain situations so you need to let go of certain situations at this time because it's not healthy to hold on and everything happens for a reason in our lives and we may not know the reason right away or we may not know the reason for years to come but everything happens in our lives for a reason and sometimes we just need to let go of whatever it is that is hurting us because it's hurting us it's not hurting anybody else okay so you need to work on processing some stuff and letting some stuff go let this be the start of a new you with this energy okay and start letting go um i see you wanting more recognition at this time with this energy here as well the eight of coins i feel with this energy here you could be dealing with obsessive thinking you could be throwing yourself into your work during this time period as well with this energy here um and you could be receiving a lot more attention you could be a perfectionist when it comes to your job or you could be a stickler for the rules with this energy as well the two of swords somebody is thinking about you somebody is crushing on you you could be dealing with like a cancer sign or somebody with like a stellum in cancer or a virgo or a pisces and i feel like you know that right or a scorpio right now because the planets in retrograde in cancer men are not willing to come forward okay or and stuff like that they want to mull over and they want to think about it and take their sorry ass time okay while us females are like okay we want a date we're lonely we need cuddles okay but they don't seem to understand that why I do not know okay um i feel also this could be you investing more into your hobbies with this energy as well 
the temperance card you're more about your sanity here for some of you you could be dealing with symbiotic relationships at this time with this energy the um, six of cups you can be sentimental about the past you enjoy the smaller things in life i feel like you can be having a second childhood with this energy i do see you reconnecting with someone from your past as a potential love relationship but be careful i feel like this could be short-lived this could be a bam boom thank you ma'am kind of situation okay and then the sun card i feel like you could be throwing yourself into something new you're a perfectionist with when it comes to your work with this energy here as well I love you, my Libras. Show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Kisses.